Just because he took you to Jameli and you had a good time and a la danza and he bought you a cop and he did this, this. Oh my God, he is the most amazing. Get. You would rather buy yourself an Air Force One and make sure why? I don't sit it. You're sitting there and you're thinking, I deserve to be a parent. Mara Oja Grantia Wana. Marcy is over right, man. I am yes in YOLO. Who's over right? Njani. Then tomorrow, all you have, go for Jinya Haukili Hilly one. Le Ayang is, I get it together. Mara. Most men actually really like high maintenance women. They love high maintenance women. What am I going to do with your sorry when I'm He has to be nice. He called you in the morning. He sent you a good morning text. Oh my God, I love him so much. It's polite. I'm tuning. Go in the Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another. Welcome back to another unpopular opinions. I know you guys know these videos and I absolutely love making them for you. Are you subscribed to the channel? And if you're not, please do subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to like the videos. I really would appreciate it. It goes such a long way to supporting my channel. Also, there is a membership space. There's a thanks button. Whatever you feel comfortable with, join the membership space or give a little easy thank you. 20 rand, 30 rand whatever just to thank good sis for putting out all this content for you guys because man i am a busy girl anyway so welcome back to another video welcome back to unpopular opinions always so 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 excited to film these and today is different because i'm having a cup of tea um because I, I haven't broken my fast yet okay it's it's that kind of thing sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do lona okay so this will actually go to prove is it actually the alcohol that makes her seem a bit more funnier or is it actually the fact that she's funny i'm funny okay masabad i'm funny okay Brittany, i'm funny Ditebo. Please, man. <laughs> Take me to the rest. Outside of that, thank you so much for being here. Let's get into this video. This is my unpopular opinions. As always, I write them down on my phone. All right. Personally, don't get mad about this one. Okay? Don't get mad about this one. But personally, I feel not all parents deserve to have children. Not all parents deserve to have the kids. Not all of them should have children. I feel like, you know what, when Masabatane, I think at the end of the day, we need to consider that some of y'all are just shitty parents. Some of y'all are really not good at this, okay? And then you wonder to yourself that, ah, Mara, hey, whatever, you're just a bad parent. <laughs> You're not cut out for the parenting life and that because now you like things. I get when you like things, you want to show people that you've moved on, you've, you've started a new chapter of your life, you want a child and a children, and then you actually turn out to be a really shitty parent. So some of y'all are not cut out to be parents. Okay, you don't deserve them kids because you, are, you couldn't care less. You would rather buy yourself an Air Force One and make sure that why? Why? So you want to go and buy one? Your child, you want to be chilling, steady chilling in the Air Force One, steady chilling in the what what? Did you take any other famous Kanye West? Why? You don't deserve. You don't deserve. I feel like when you are a parent, there is not only is it unconditional and whatever, but there's a lot of sacrifices that you need to make. But most people still tend to think of themselves before thinking about their kids. I don't said it. I don't said it. You're sitting there and you're thinking, I deserve to be a parent. Mara Oja Grantiangwana. Oja Grantiangwana Masabata. Eh, just us. No, 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 no. The next thing, YOLO, it's trash. 
it's trash. I don't know if I said this in a previous unpopular opinions video, but I'll say it again. You you only live once. It's it's nonsense. It's nonsensical business that one. Because so because you only live once, what are you going to do? You are you are going to take them drugs. You are going to drink that alcohol. Drink yourself to a stupor because when you only live once, I'm going to be okay. Utoba sharp. I only live once, so it's fine. Let me just do this. Let me put my life in danger. Let me put my friend's life in danger. No, Sinta. Absolutely not. But in Dipu, you need to understand, Hori, YOLO doesn't, it doesn't work. Whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 50s, whatever, there is more of your life to be lived. So at some point, you can't be coming here and saying, ah, you know what? Man, it is what it is, YOLO. I just, you know, when I hear people say that word yeah yolo i mean it took me years to find out what yolo actually even means okay that's how geriatric my ass is but <laughs> but for the mere fact that they use yolo in the most in nonsensical contexts no, Masaya, they told me, it's fine, we only have 50 bucks to go to the club. Mars is over right, man, I hey, yes, in YOLO. Who's over right? Njani. Njani, snigiwe. Njani, how are you going to be okay? How are you going to be all right? Knowing that you only got 50 bucks between you and death. And now you want to choose to be like, I know, it's fine. Then tomorrow, all you have, go for Jinya, how kill he lay one. I get it together, man. This YOLO business, nah, that, that one can miss me. And uh, <clears throat> you know what? We can love people who have beautiful feet. Okay? People sell their feet online. Hear my chat. This is the next un unpopular opinion. Okay? People sell their feet pictures online. Their hands pictures online. And they make quite considerable amounts of money. But foot fetishes are nasty. To rest, 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 before to rest, rest, rest. Are oh, nasty. Listen to me. If you are, what? Ukila, 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 mauto anghang, or anghang. Have you ever smelled feet that have that feet smell? Hmm. Hmm. Where? Namzwaaki. Have you ever felt or smelled? feet that have an and then you 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 trying to put your mouth on my feet what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing absolutely not i ain't trying to have your feet your mouth your, your mouth on my feet no i'm not trying to do that i'm not and 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 hold it uh, oh my god this is so sad that is nasty ah <sighs> I'm just tired. It's 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 various levels. You know, there's various levels of nastiness. And 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 in intimacy, people do some really nasty things, and that's fine. Okay. I, I hear that chat. Mara. <laughs> you better catch me several streets outside. Yay, Udan Tolaha Mai Mai. Um this one might might just might anger some women's uh and might anger some means who might be watching my channel they might be all of three of you and thank you so much gents thanks um but men in 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 the most of the men's sense senses most men actually really like high maintenance women they love high maintenance women i mean uh, i mean i mean I mean, these are the women that they are going for. And listen, don't get me wrong. When I say high maintenance doesn't give you any reason to be rude or snacks or, 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 or you know, be like, no, you know, I'm just high maintenance. If you can't afford me, then whatever. Skaba snacks. Skaba snacks. Ditebo. Skaba snacks. When I'm talking about high maintenance, I'm talking about women who get their nails done, who ensure that their hair is looking great, who dress up, who look good who want to who want to look good who want to smell good who want the most for their lives right who want to push uh uh, uh work and and make their own coin and whatever men love them kind of women oh 
oh, they love them. Oh, they love, oh, I wish if this can happen each and every after two weeks or monthly. They love high maintenance women. They can sit here and say, yeah, I mean, I don't like a girl who does nails this long. Yeah, I mean, I don't like a girl who wears a weave. Nah, hey, your lashes, hey, you, your makeup is too heavy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You may say as a chant that you don't like the fact that her nails are too long. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Certain things here and there. But don't lie about high maintenance. Jo, 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 jo. Those are the women you aspire to be with. Njengo ba oba share ba kodi Instagram. Obo na bona leti, obo na bomi sadi. Yey, ba mo kuru waba bona waba bona waba bona. All these beautiful women doing the absolute most. This is the kind of chick you want to be with. You do. You work very hard so that you can score yourself a woman like that. This doesn't excuse the fact that if she's rude and whatever and she can say she's high maintenance but she's actually impossible and whatever, then she's just a horrible person, period, point blank. But there are high maintenance women who are great people. Ding, 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 case in point. I'm quite high maintenance. You can, you can ask Diesel for free. I'm quite high maintenance and it, it, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, the only thing I'm not high maintenance with is my hair. Very much not my high mind. I couldn't care them. So men can come at us and be like, no, Mina, yeah, when a girl is high maintenance, they're just not for me. No, just tell the truth when us Muslims are actually say you can't afford her. You can't afford her. You want to be with a girl like that. Oh, you want a girl like that. Don't even lie. Don't even fucking lie. Don't even fucking lie. Omo bata ale joalo. Omo bata ale joalo. You see the rato walking down the street, you're like, one day it's one day. Rato. Asses. Uh uh. Come on. Which man wants to be with a woman who's still wearing her gown and standing at the corner of her gate, Kokasi, at 1 p.m. on a Saturday and having a sniggering chit chat, what, 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 with her friends on the streets on a Saturday? Which man? Kerara. Listen, listen, uh, wait, nane, um, I haven't forgotten your names really at this point. Uh, Felicity, okay? Felicity, at some point, sweetie, okay? You're going to need to understand, Hori, apologizing over and over without exercised change, without you changing yourself and apologizing over and over and over for the same fucking thing, it means nothing. <laughs> Apologies mean nothing without change behavior. So if you're going to come here and say, oh, yeah, but I apologize, and then what must I do? What did your apology do for me? Did your apology buy me food? Did your apology keep the lights on for me? Did it do that? It didn't. It did not. So at the end of the day, you need to understand that apologies without change behavior means nothing. You can sit and say, I apologize, I apologize, until you are freaking blue in the face, okay? But your apology means nothing to me if there is no change behavior. This is an unpopular opinion because people seem to think that, Hashem, as long as I say sorry, what am I going to do with your sorry when I'm what am I going to do with it? What, what it's, it's going to do for, for my self-esteem that you just broke down by insulting me? And then you're going to come at me and insult me a different way some other time. Be like, how much told me I was joking. Okay, fine. Askies. Take your askies. Um, <clears throat> Taylor Swift and Beyonce. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You know where it's going. Yeah, I know I said it. I know I said it. Ah, uh, you guys can love Beyonce, love on Beyonce. I give her honey. Beyonce is a wonderful woman. She's so wonderful, but they're overrated for days. Full on. Both of them. They are great performers, entertainers, great people in and of themselves. That's why, well, Taylor Swift is a bit questionable. But Beyonce, man, she, she, she has all my respect. But she is overrated. They're both overrated. I done said it. Don't come for me. 
don't now unsubscribe to the channel when I palesa and and now so what Ileano just because I didn't say what I said about Beyonce is fine. But it's Beyonce fine. as a person, as a, a creator, as a performer, as a businesswoman, my goodness, I have absolutely the most tennis, tennis, tennis respect for her. But quite overrated. Quite overrated. Lekar whatever elevatang we bua. Hey. Yay, it can't sing. It can't sing. This leads me to the next point, and now I'm going to use a South African celebrity, okay? Bonang, Mateba. Dorothy is the girl she thinks she is. Let me tell you something. Okay? That girl, I watched her. Okay, I've been, I've, been, I've been watching, following, not following really, but keeping up, right, with what Bonang is doing, all of that, you know, her, 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 her endeavors, all of that stuff, right? And then I watched her on Young Famous African. Okay, Young Famous Rich African. That one, the one that we all love, man, with Swanky J, right? Then I watched her. And, yeah, she's got questionable, you know, she says questionable things, you know, from time to time, or whatever. But she's the girl she thinks she is. Because she can say those things and then be like, Let me go on. I can say whatever. She didn't said it because they talk about her when they ain't got nothing to say about themselves. When their own lives is boring and all of that. And I agree with that girl, man. I really think Dorothy, Dorothy is the girl that she thinks she is. With everything. Like she'll come at social media and she'll say some stuff, right? Where people will be like, hey, I'm out of Penang, hey, but and then I'm like, for the mere fact that she said it, shows you who she's the girl she thinks she is. Yup. And not for dating. Y'all can say whatever you want to say about that girl. I think, I, I, don't, I don't follow her religiously or whatever, but great businesswoman, really just in and of about herself. She will do whatever the hell she wants to do. She's the girl she thinks she is. Mara, she's that girl. Where's the line? Where's the line? Mm. This one is gonna hurt, but we're, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. <sighs> women. Most women. Most women are impressed by the absolute bare minimum when it comes to men. or when it comes to the people that they're dating or whatever. But most women, and I'm saying when it comes to men that they're potentially dating in relationships, they are impressed, if not flattered even, by receiving the absolute bare minimum treatment from men. He's nice to you, it's because he has to be nice. <laughs> He has to be nice. He called you in the morning. He sent you a good morning text. Oh my God, I love him so much. It's polite to send a good morning text. Okay. There's nothing that I get excited about. I don't, I'm not like, oh my God, Diesel. Diesel loves me so much. Oh my God, he sent me a good morning text. What? He, he's supposed to do that. It's polite. It's, it's the right thing to do. Okay, he took you out to dinner. It's the right thing to do. You can't be impressed by the mere fact that somebody spent a couple of thousand on you for dinner. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is not impressive. Even like a couple of thousand in Ata. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Mbali, get it together. Just because he took you to Jameli. And you had a good time, and a la danza, and he bought you a cop, and he did this, this. Oh my God, he is the most amazing. Get. <laughs> it's basic treatment. You are happy and impressed 
and even at times flattered by the absolute bare minimum. And I ain't even finna lie, I was that girl. Oh man, I was that girl. I was that girl. I was so impressed by uh, so many of my exes, by the absolute bare minimum. I even feel sorry for Diesel right now because that's not gonna fly with me. No, 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 no. You can't be impressed with the absolute bare minimum, dog. Like for me, it just it's just like, why? <laughs> like I look at the old me and I'm just like, you were stupid. You were so dumb, Katleo. You were so dumb. You were so dumb. You got excited at the fact that somebody came, visited you, chilled with you for a couple of hours, and you felt like, oh my God, they took the time out of their busy weekend. No. What? Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, short women. Ah, I can see the tall girls coming for me right now. It should be a basic right. It should be a basic right for short women to have first dibs at tall men. Yeah, I said it. I'm calling you. That's my name. my name. Yeah, I said it. Short women are more deserving of tall men than all them other women. I didn't say it. I'm short. I said it. That's fine, we all want tall men, but we should have first dibs. Fuck. We should have first access to those men before you guys do. Ah, ah, nah. ah, ah, nah. ah, 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 because now I can't understand how you can't like that thing. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like people don't like avocados. What is wrong? How can I help you? How can, do you need to consult someone? Do you need somebody to maybe hypnotize you to realizing who you are making very incorrect decisions in your life? You're really making mistakes. How do you not love mushrooms, dog? Like, fry that shit up, you put a little salt, a little pepper. And then at some point you put it in a nice sauce. Come on, dog. Come on, come on. How do you not like mushrooms? People who don't like mushrooms, please talk to me and tell me what is wrong. What's gone wrong at home? Uh, what trauma are you suffering from that maybe you might need my assistance with or whatever. But what you're not going to do is, is come here and dog out mushrooms. We're not going to do that. Women who, oh man. Okay, here we go. Women who choose to stay single for much longer periods. Now we're talking one year, two years, three years, five years, whatever, often tend to have a higher IQ level. I'm not saying just because we're nah, you're constantly from relation to relationship, you are bouncing, bouncing, um, more six months, um, more, then two weeks you are single, then back to relationship, then just no. I'm not saying you're a little bit of a dumb gob. I'm not saying that. I'm not. But I'm saying women who tend to stay single for longer periods of time, where they're not dating and whatever, have a high IQ, high IQ level. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. Because they don't have time for nonsense. That's the thing. If they can see oh, this is not benefiting me in any way, I ain't going to do it. I don't have time for this. I will only drop my single dom, my non-dating dom, when I realize that, okay, yeah, long at gonna focus. Yeah. When I can see that there's a bit of focus here, then I will drop my single dom, my all of doms. I will drop them. They don't have time. They don't have time. They have a higher IQ level. They know that if I can do it myself, all these things, this bare minimum that you are, you are bringing here that I can do. Why, why am I in a relationship? Which, which one? For what? For what? For what, mate? They just have a higher IQ level. 
They just know that I don't have time for this nonsense. I'm not going to bring myself to this if it's not going to benefit me in any way, shape, or form. So, Luna went to a jumper, a jumper, a jumper, a jumper, a jumper. You know, they, they stay single for longer periods because they, they want to focus on themselves. They want to heal. They want to do this. They want to do this. I'm not saying you can't heal within a relationship. You absolutely can. But hear my chat, right? They don't have time for a nonsensical. Yeah, so chances are quite high that their, high, their IQ level is much higher than yours when I'm tuning. Yeah, okay. Here's another one. Uh, hustle culture. Oh, I'm getting up. Oh, I'm hustling. Oh, I got to hustle. No, you got to hustle. There's no time to sleep, man. You got to hustle. There's absolutely time to sleep. <sighs> hustle culture is overrated and it's dangerous. It's a dangerous thing to keep preaching that, oh, I'm a hustler. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Just because you are a hustler, don't become the jack of all trades and the master of nothing. You need to teach yourself to work smart, okay? You can't be like telling yourself that, no, 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 me, I'm going to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 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 that's when my day starts. Yep, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm in the gym. I'm doing this. Oh, this is not working out. Oh, I'm also working on this deal. And that and the other, you know, you got to hustle. Hustle what? Hustle what? <sighs> I'm so tired, yeah. I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Perfect your skills. Work on yourself. Work smart. Not hard, work smart. Like it's actually, it's, a, it, it's in actuality, it's a thing. Work smart. Hustle culture is absolutely overrated. I don't believe in the, in the hustle culture mantra. I'm coming back to another celebrity here, Cardi B. <sighs> I don't think her music is that great. I think she just sells sex. It's good for her. Uh, I think she just sells sex. She sells good looks. She's absolutely stunning. She's gorgeous. But I don't think her bars, I don't think she's got bars. I really, I, I just don't, man. I don't think her being a, a, a rapper, her career as a rapper, hip-hop artist, it ain't cool. it. Okay, so you can say I'm a little bit biased, but Nicki has got bars. What are you talking about? Her music is sick. And I don't really care for how they look and all of that, blah, 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 selling sex. They all sell sex. It's fine. Like, not literally sell sex, guys. Okay. Music, how they dress, the things they say in their music, whatever, whatever. Everybody does. That's fine. But my chat is, they're gorgeous, gorgeous women. But in the hip-hop game, ah, please. Nice. Um, the last one I'm going to mention, I don't think, I think maybe I have mentioned it before. I'm not sure. But the process of putting makeup on... When are we actually going to tell the truth? When are we actually going to tell the truth that there is nothing more frustrating and annoying as the process of putting makeup on? You know, this, this face, ah, sis, I didn't wake up like this. I think we, we all know that. I did not wake up like this. I wish. <laughs> I wish I had woken up like this. I didn't. And because I didn't, just the process of hodrawa. I want hodrawa, ho applya, ho titivator, ho spray. You know that thing is boring. <laughs> I literally hate it. Every single time I am about to attend a function or I'm about to go somewhere, the just thinking about the fact that I have to sit for 30 minutes and do a face annoys the living daylights out of me. I don't find it exciting. So when I think about makeup artists, I'm just like, wow, you girl, you are stronger than me, honey. You have got, like, honestly, you have got to absolutely love what you do if you're a makeup artist, because I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, there's only so much shimmer highlighters where you can say, oh, my God, this one has a bit of a glow. This one has a bit of an effervescent. This one's got to be, like, yay. There's only so much you can say. <laughs> but makeup, honestly, no. Yo, the process of just putting it on, uh, just, ugh. What kind of potential, what is it?
<laughs> all right i'm gonna end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is my latest installment of unpopular opinions what are your unpopular opinions i'd love to know down below if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel if you care i would appreciate that so much and if you'd like to show me some support or a thank you or anything please drop me a thanks or join the membership space whichever one it really does help my channel a long 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 way guys I, it's just a pity i don't like talking about money online but if i were to show you <laughs> ciao anyway i hope you guys enjoy the video as always thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over again until the next video i will see you very very soon until then take care be kind and sayonara